Hello, Internet. It's Monday again. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Don't worry, don't worry. I brought you a movie. I've got your back. Today on Movie Monday, I bring you... Hidden Figures. You know it's a good movie when it takes you on a roller coaster of emotions. This movie was directed by Theodore Malfi, I guess that's how it's pronounced, and it is his second directorial feature film. His first movie was St. Vincent, which is also a good movie. The story takes place during the 1960s space race between the USA America, and the then Soviet Union. It follows the story of three black women who work as computers or mathematicians for NASA. Cause you know those things called computers, they not really exist yet or at least weren't that common. The movie shows how these three women contribute to the space program and how they provide important mathematical data to NASA so that they can put a man in space and later on the moon. Hashtag not a conspiracy. And they did it in a time when women, much less black women, were not really considered equal. It was the time of segregation in the USA, which I personally really don't understand and probably never will. The prejudice on color is weird. But these women achieve their goals the only way that it really matters, by putting something on the table. They show their worth by working their asses off and showing that they are the best in what they do. That is how respect and recognition is earned, not by some false sense of entitlement, but enough kitchen philosophy for one day, back to the movie. As I said, the movie is set in a time of segregation and it shows some examples of how innocent black people were treated back in the day. But the focus on the movie is on the three leads and how they overcome the obstacles that are thrown in front of them. The three leads this movie was based on are true role models. Catherine G. Johnson, Dorothy Wan, and Mary Jackson. These are their real names, cause it is a true story. So if you want to portray strong women, that is how you do with Ghostbusters 2016. Not like those caricatures of people we get to see there. The acting in this movie is really spot on. Taraji P. Hansen, Janelle Monet, Octavia Spencer all shine in this movie. All three women get their own little story, but the main focus is on Taraji's character, Catherine, whose exceptional math skills helped the space program not to become a disaster. Those math equations she did as a young girl, numbers weren't confusing enough, you had to put in letters. Yay! Looking back to that time, I could have contributed as well. I could have brought a pencil or some coffee. Anyway. The supporting cast is also really good. Kevin Costner has found his mojo in these kind of supporting roles. Jim Parsons played, well, a more racist Sheldon Cooper, but he gave a fine performance. Kristen Dunst kind of bothered me, because every time she was on the screen it looked like she was about to cry, or was crying before the take. The movie takes you on an emotional ride. It makes you laugh when you need laughter. It is serious when it needs to be. It is exciting when the story demands it. I did not know how much women contributed to the space program, much less black women, in a time of great separation when equality was not to be seen on the horizon yet. It is an inspiring movie that you all have to watch. I will give this movie a 10 out of 10. I urge everyone to watch this movie and to read the book that it's based on to learn more about the incredible things these and other women have achieved. I will put a link to the trailer down below. Have you seen this movie? What did you think of it? Whatever it is, feel free to comment down below. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.